What's going on guys? My name is Hussein and let's talk about the Oblivious DOH, a new technology developed by Cloudflare, Apple, and Fastly. And you might say, Hussein, what are what are we why are we doing so many uh revisions of this DNS thing? Okay. Well, uh, essentially I talked about that a little bit. DNS is is the only tech stack that is left in the web uh, ecosystem that is essentially not encrypted. Everything else in the world, everything that we do here, uh, go uh, to any website, is now encrypted. Everything is encrypted. So any, no one is in, in between can essentially see what we are doing, see the content itself. You're going to Google, nobody in the middle can see it, whether this is your ISP or someone running a hotspot uh, where, where all the traffic is going through. They can't see any of that stuff because it's encrypted end to end, right? Uh, by end, I mean the client and the target server. DNS, on the other hand, which is the domain name server, which you ask, hey, what's the IP address of cloudflare.com? What's the IP address of google.com? What's the IP address of yahoo.com? That service is essentially not encrypted. It's using the UDP protocol. You shoot and forget, and then you come back with the results. As long as it matches your query ID, you get the answer, right? And anybody in the middle can actually see what you're querying and map it to your IP address and essentially know you. Uh, if it's your ISP, they can find out what domains you're accessing. Not necessarily what you're doing on those domains, just that, yeah, you're going to Cloudflare, you're going to the site a lot. What, what do you have there? They can do that. So... Uh, there, there are a lot of um, RFCs that came up with a solution to encrypt DNS, and this is called DOH and DOT, which is DNS over HTTPS and DNS over TLS. And there are two parties, people prefer one over the other, but both of them have the same limitation. Yes, now you cannot see my queries, you ISPs and you uh, hotspot attackers, no, you cannot see where I'm going anymore. So what does this technology do is that DOH is, hey, you're going to establish a, a secure connection between you and the DNS resolver, as long as the DNS resolver supports that thing. In this case, Cloudflare does, and uh, next DNS, I think, it's do as well, does. So you go ahead and send your queries in this encrypted channel. And once you do, nobody in the middle can see it, right? So you can query uh, with a at most privacy, your ISPs and your shady hotspot uh, attackers cannot see anything. There is a question though. You guys, Cloudflare, you guys, next DNS, can actually see it, can you now, right? Because I'm asking you, right? So you can decrypt it because you are the final destination in this case, and you can see where I'm going, and you can see my IP address because I'm connected directly to you. So what uh, people from Cloudflare, Fastly, and Apple came and said, okay, all right, I know, guys, <laughs> you cannot trust us, but we're going to solve this. We're going to introduce a proxy in the middle. And here's the thing, guys. The moment I saw the word proxy when I read this, I didn't read the whole article. I said, oh, proxy, genius. This is what I initially felt, and this is what it actually is. And so many people actually fall into the same trap, including... Steve Gibson, which is the host of Security Now, they fall into, into this trap. He thought they actually saw, saw, he actually said it in, in yesterday's Security Now episode, and that was completely incorrect. Let me explain. So, when I saw a proxy, I said, oh, that is genius. All of a sudden, we have just a TLS pass-through proxy, which is, hey, let's just put a proxy in the middle, and the client connects to the proxy, so that's your... Uh, destination from an IP perspective and the proxy will just take whatever content you send it and that just forwards it it doesn't look at it right so that's the initial thing we call this in, in the back engine we call this layer 4 TLS pass through which I talked about right here right so it just takes the content and just forwards it it doesn't look it doesn't change it doesn't do anything the only thing it changes is the source IP address so now if we do this TLS pass through all of a sudden the target knows only the, the, uh, the proxy, right? And it doesn't know that the original client ID. And the encryption is end-to-end -end because the client sends the TLS hello to encrypt the DOH connection and the proxy will just forward the TLS connection all the way to the backend. And then the target will respond back with the TLS uh, 
server hello and then it says hey let's communicate so the proxy if you send a query in this case the, the the query will be encrypted with a symmetric key that they agreed upon the client and the target and then all of a sudden just sh 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 go ahead do that that's what i thought but no that's not what's happening terminate tls look at this then let's read this article in odo o stands for oblivious uh doh and this property comes from the level of encryption of the dns message itself this adds encryption end to end between the client and server and independent from the client level encryption provided by tls htbs one might ask why this additional encryption is required at all in the presence of a proxy because that's the same question i asked i was like why you are encrypting that again so two layer of encryption this is because two separate tls connections are required to support proxy functionality that is false don't say required don't say required proxy functionality. You can do proxy with TLS proxy, right? It's it's a it's an incorrect statement. There is a reason for terminating TLS, and uh, I asked uh, Nick Sullivan, and he answered, and it makes sense that his answer. So don't say it's not it's required. It's not required. You can do a TLS pass through definitely without TLS termination. So now come back to the diagram. Here's what actually happens. This is a TLS terminating proxy. So it actually terminates the connection, terminates the TLS. So it responds to TLS client hellos. The proxy provides its own certificate to the client in order to establish this connection. So it's actually an encrypted connection between the client and proxy, then decrypted, and then another encrypted between the proxy and the target. And you might say, Hossein, doesn't this... Uh, just leaves the proxy reading plain text uh, DNS query. Of course, that is why Oblivious DOH adds another layer on top to encrypt the whole thing. So it's, it's, uh, effectively, it's double encryption. The next question is, doesn't that slow us down? So now the next question you have is like, oh, what about performance? I'm doing double encryption. They go through details as always cloudflare was with thorough when it comes to that so they go through the 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 latency when it comes to proxying the encryption the decryption all of that stuff and there's all the details you can go there. i'm not gonna go through all of that stuff right here but you might ask why do we have a tls terminating uh, proxy that's weird right because you can do a TLS pass through. And then that's the first question I asked. And I'm pretty sure, I said, I, I asked uh, Nick Sullivan, and uh, one of the researchers in uh, Cloudflare, and he said, uh, I'm guys, I told him, hey, guys, I, I'm pretty sure you thought about TLS uh, pass through, uh, but I'm just curious, why didn't you go with that solution? He said, yes, we did think about a TLS pass through solution. However, we want this, the layer between proxy and target, we want to, con we have more control over this. Why? Because if you stick with a TLS pass-through, that means a layer 4 proxying, that means you're sticky by nature, right? That makes sense. Because now any query you send it here must go to always the same pipe. It just sticks. And you cannot use that connection for anything else. That's it. It's reserved. How will that scale? Think about it. How would that scale if you may have hundreds of thousands of queries in this case, e from different clients. All of these clients will be coming from different IP addresses. So if you generated an, a dedicated connection for each client, that proxy will just go back to its knees and it makes perfect sense. So they shifted to a layer seven TLS termination proxy so that they can multiplex connections with their own quick or this new technology called mask, which I talked about in my live stream, right? And when they multiplex, now all of a sudden you have you have more bandwidth to work with you have you have a, you have more less, lesser constraints and you have you become more efficient essentially regardless of the multiplexing technology HTTP2 uh, quick or this new thing called mask that's that's why and uh, I was convinced yeah good yeah you got me that 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 makes perfect sense so those guys are not they're not just making things up. They sit down and research, research for months 
to come up with a good uh, solution, right? So, and uh, yeah, I, I was, uh, I, when I was watching the Security Now episode, yeah, it, 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 it makes sense that Steve Gibson got this wrong because I, I don't think he read the article in f fully when he talked about that because otherwise he, because when I saw, when I saw a proxy, that's the, the same thing came to my mind. Oh, that's genius. Let's use the TLS uh, pass-through proxy, not connection forward proxy. So and he described it as elegant, right? And easy to implement. I would not say that this is easy to implement. I would, I would, 100% uh, it's not easy to implement. You need a library for God's sake. You need a library in the client to get this right. There is an additional layer of encryption. There's this new thing that's called which HPK, whatever. HPKE, this, this new thing. This is a new draft. So there is a lot of work. That is a lot of work. And uh, all right, guys, that's it for me today. I'm going to see you on the next one. What do you think about Oblivious DOH? Are you going to enable it? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to see you on the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.